It's another math day here with teacher Jenny. Join me for another discussion and standardizing. And this time, we're going to be talking about those problems relating to um, the keywords, which is above or greater than. So let's have that one here. Our first problem is the average age of a company's president is 56 years old. Assume that the variable is normally distributed. If the standard deviation is four years, find the probability that the age of a randomly selected president will be greater than 58 years old. So let's start with a computation here. So again, we are going to do standardizing here because our mean is given as 56 years old and our standard deviation is four years old. So let's know first the given. That will be our first um, thing to do whenever we are solving for a word problem. Know your given. So the first given is the mean, which is equal to 56, and our standard deviation, which is equal to 4, and our x value, which is equal to 58. Now, We've got all those information, so we are now ready to do standardizing. So we'll be converting your x value to z value by using the formula. The formula is z equal to x minus the mean over the standard deviation. So our x is 58 minus our mean, which is 56. We divide that one by 4. We have 58 minus 56. That will be 2 out of 4, and that will be equal to one half or that is 0.5. So our z value here is 0.5. So we know that the out from the computation our z value is 0.5 so we are now ready to locate that one on our z table. Again the question was what will be the probability of choosing your president, the age of the president that is greater than 58. So that means to say we are looking at our area which is equivalent to uh, as your z is greater than 0 0.5. So that is what we are going to look for. Now locating first our area on the 0.5 we have that one here, which is 0 0.1915. So if we are going to illustrate that out, we have 0.5 somewhere here. And of course, since the problem says it's greater than, the, so you will be shading towards the right side. Because your z values that are greater than 0.5 are located on the right side. So if you try to look at that one, you know what to do right away for that one. You know how to find the area because we've got that area which is on the tail part. And we are supposed to subtract the area equivalent to 0.5, which is 0 0.1915 or 0 0.1915 to your 0.5. So we have there 0.5 minus 0 0.19. 1, 5, that will be equal to, if you're doing manually, then you have to do the um, borrowing, but if you want, or if you are with the calculator, then go ahead and calculate that one. So that will be equal to 0 0.3085, or that's 0 0.3085, or that is equivalent to 30 point eighty five in percent so that is how you are going to look for that area or the probability so it's only thirty point eighty five percent of chances that you will be choosing um, a president with the age of or with the age greater than fifty eight years old so that means it's gonna be lesser probability or lesser chances I hope that's clear. So let's now move on to the next question or next problem here. 
The average length of time in minutes a student answers a 10-item true or false test is 15 minutes, and the standard deviation is 2 minutes. Suppose there are 50 students who took the test. What percentage of the students spent, spent above 16 minutes answering the test? So again, we have here the word above. That means to say we have that one as greater than 16 minutes. Now, first, we have to know the given. So given are the following. We've got the mean or the average is... 15 and your standard deviation is 2 and our x is equal to 16. Now we are going to do standardizing but of course here because we don't have a mean which is equal to 0 and a standard deviation which is equal to 1 so we do standardizing. So z here will be equal to x minus the mean over the standard deviation where our x is 16 our mean is 15 and our standard deviation is 2. So we have that one as a 1 half or this is simply equal to 0.5. So since this is above, that means to say what we are looking for is this area or this probability wherein your z here, sorry on this one, okay, where your z here is greater than 0.5 as well. So that's similar to the example ago. So again, we are going to locate our area which is equivalent to 0.5 and dot is 0 0.1915. So again, we can just simply try to look at the value of your z which is equal to 0 0.5 in there and we know we have to find the probability of z that is greater than 0.5. So again, by simply looking at that one without your illustration, you can just simply know what to do on your area in there. Since this is greater than, your arrow here is pointing towards the right side. So that means to say the direction of your shading is towards the right side. So we have right direction and then our Z value is positive. Of course, that is found on the right and using the method that I've introduced, the SSS, and so with the OSA in there, where in SSS, we have same side, we subtract, opposite side, we add for the OSA. So since this is right and right, we are following SSS. So we simply subtract. Now we subtract area um, from 0.5, the area with or equivalent to your 0 0.5. So that will be 0 0.19. 1, 5. So we subtract that out, that is equal to 0 0.3085 or the answer for P of Z greater than 0 0.5 here is simply equal to 30.85%. And again, it has a lesser chance that you will be finishing that one within um, 16 minutes. Or you will be exceeding the time as 16 minutes because you have there above 16 minutes. So that's it. Now, I hope you were able to learn something from me in standardizing and, and as well as interpreting your problem in there. So again, I'll see you in my next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And click on the notification bell so that you will be updated on my new and latest video. Once again, this is your teacher Jenny saying good luck to every problems in math and saying that math is a repetitive process in which you need to master.